All right, good morning, gentlemen, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Um, it came to my attention that labs with you online is still very difficult, even though I'm trying to kind of find it happy medium. And so to, until I kind of find that happy medium, I am recording all the labs for you in advance. And on the case that it is not recorded, I will perform the lab for you and I'll explain it um, over Zoom. But right now, this is my first kind of round of trying it again. So I won't go in as much detail because you can talk to your classmates. However, I do hope this helps. So the plan today is that you are going to get the document, Where Are Electrons Located? Probability Experiment, um, downloaded on Notability, and you will follow along. Um, your homework is to write up a lab report. It's going to be super easy. I'll kind of walk through an app that you can use. Um, so my video might be a little choppy because I'm trying to figure out best way to edit so that way you can see all of this as well. So here's the plan is I'll write a lab report, kind of my expectations for you, and then you'll kind of model off of that. But for now, we're going to complete our experiment. So we're going to be doing this table here. So what I will do is I will take this target, and I have two of them, and I will put this piece of carbon paper on top of it where the black, which is the carbon side, will be on the target. I'm going to put this on the ground, and then I will, for 50 drops, drop it on the target. And then I will uh, take a photo and you will be counting how many were in the first ring, how many in the second ring, how many in the third ring, how many in the fourth, how many in the fifth, and then all around. So I'll show you what that kind of looks like. Right, look under the ground, can't tell them on the ground. So I have the piece of paper on the ground. It looks obviously like a piece of paper on the ground. And I'm going to stand up and I'm going to drop the golf ball on it. But as an example, I'm going to aim towards the center, I drop it, and if I took my carbon piece of paper up, it's going to leave me a mark. So that's what our marks will look like for you. Um, but other than that, I will kind of do this and I'll speed it up for you. So, yep. So I just finished doing two targets actually, so at the time lapse I showed you one, however I did do two. So now I will upload the photos for you and then I'll talk about how you are going to graph it. However, here is what they look like as a preview. So. so here we have target one. So pause and record the data on your notability lab sheet. And then here we have target two. So also pause and record this data um, on your sheet as well. This will be used for the graph. So what you'll be doing is you're going to open your app store and you're going to be looking at veneer graphical analysis, um, just like I have in this video, and you're going to download that. When you're ready, you'll hit new experiment, manual entry, and then you'll open up your graph. It should look like this. You're going to go through the three green dots next to the X and name the column the X um, value. In this case, it is the number of rings or the ring number. Um, and then because we don't have any units for it, we don't have to put anything in, but in the future you would add a unit. Next, you're gonna do the same thing with our Y, which is the number of marks in those rings. Again, we don't have a unit, so you do not need to input that. Make sure that you go to the bottom of the graph here and make sure hit you hit graph options. Go to appearance, switch that to both for me. That way you kind of get something that looks what I'm looking for. Then you'll put your data in. Make sure to keep your data so that way it's in that one table because if you make a second one, you will have to start over. I'm not sure how to delete it. If you figure that out, you'll be my savior because uh, that'd be amazing to know. Um, so you'll put your data in um, as you kind of go through. And then with that, um, you'll just input it. When you get to the outside of the fifth ring, just put six. It won't graph outside of five. And your graph should look similar to this in a way, however it might not, then you'll screenshot it now, and that's with it. with the lab report portion of it, you will be putting your data table and that graph you just made using that app onto a Google Doc. And what you're gonna be doing is some, like very easy in the full retrospect, is that you are going to be adding a title. So it's just the title of the lab we just did. You'll make sure that you'll include your name as well as the period. Um, well, yes, I'm gonna be viewing these on Canvas. It's just in your best interest in case something happens that you have your name on it to prove like, hey, this is my work. Um, because what if someone got a hold of it? I wanna make sure I can bring it back to you and know like, hey, it was you. 
um, you are going to include the data table. Um, so you'll just take a screenshot, post it in there. You're going to include the graph. Um, make sure it looks like kind of what I talked about where you're gonna have your line and your points both showing. You don't need a best fit line for this one. Um, and then I kind of talked about how you want to do the table for that. So make sure that you do have it titled. And then the final one is that you are going to be answering all your analysis questions on there. Um, I'm okay if you take a screenshot of your notability data table and stuff like that. However, it's just really what works best for you. And I do have an example posted up there on Canvas for you to look at. So if you have any questions, please email me. But this is due on Thursday or Friday, depending on when I see you. But I will kind of go over a little bit in class so you have a little bit extra time to work on it. Um, that way we can kind of iron out those details. So that's all I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.